Hi viewers, welcome to my channel at Easy Service, where we make all survey practices to be easier. From our last series, we showed you on how to come about the legend on your plan, uh, as well as the key details. All right. So if you are just joining us for the first time, please refer back to our video on how we came about all this. All right. So in this video, we are quickly going to show you on how to scale your plan all right so the default frame for this particular um, frame default scale for this part particular um, frame is 1 to 500 okay it is actually denoted or you can actually know that by measuring the scale by here from 0 to the first um, first line here is expected to be five meters so i'm just quickly going to show you on how to quickly do that by going to distance so we are going to measure that by clicking here and clicking here so as you can see it is 5.00 on dot so that shows that this particular scale or this particular frame is scaled on 1 to 500 so the idea about scaling your frame okay is just what we want to show you remember and i want us to note that please you do not move your work okay you do not move your plan or your your work your boundary your features or whatsoever you have actually plotted on autocad with the coordinates you do not move it you do not shift it to anything anything that needs to be moved are your external um details like the frame okay the this are in the frame you have the project title or the the title of the plan you have the project location the client name okay your company name the coordinate reference um, system or system parameters okay you have the area date for the case of topo topographic map you need the contour interval all right uh, okay so and the legend all right so these are the things that need to be scaled and need to be moved so when we are done scaling we are going to move it to this particular plan not when we we are done scaling this particular um work is not supposed to be moved here the frame is expected to be moved onto the plan all right so that is the idea of this if you do not understand you can just um kind of um back track this um, video to understand everything all over again so we are just going to scale this frame okay, based on the particular area of our job okay the scale um the, the area is um 95,652.09 square meters to convert that to plots okay you have to divide all these values okay with 464.5152 all right so when you divide it with this a plot of land is 464.5152 square meters if you are to divide this area with this particular value all right you are going to be having close to 205 plots of land that shows that this particular land this particular property is 205 point something plots all right so we are going to scale our plan based on the area of this job all right so that is what we want to show you and how to do that is is to um increase the scale so like i said this frame is on 1 to 500 it is scaled on 1 to 500 and we are having a a landed property that is 95,000 plus square meters all right mm -hmm. so the idea about it is that a plot of land is 464.5152 and the usual scale for this particular uh, plot of land the area is 1 to 500 so what we are going to do in this case of this particular plan okay is to increase this frame so therefore we are going to be increasing the scale of this frame and how to do that or to know what to increase it to 
all right to know the scale factor okay we are going to be needing a scale factor of what to increase it to is what we are going to show you from excel so like i said to a plot of land is this and the usual scale is one to five hundred so half a plot okay is simply showing or is simply saying that the scale for half a plot is going to be half of 500 okay one to 500 which is one to 250 so to increase a scale of one to 500 to another scale okay is to use this particular formula so to increase the scale all right is to use the default scale okay multiply by the required scale okay just like what we have here the default scale for this particular frame all right is uh one to 500 all right so we are going to be multiplying 1 to 500 multiplied by the required scale so the required scale to get our scale factor okay for the required scale we want to increase this particular frame in the course of this video to 1 to 2000 okay to 2000 all right so all we are going to be doing is to do 1 to 500 okay multiply by 2000 so like i said we need the scale factor to increase the scale all right so the default scale is 1 to 500 based on what we have on autocad okay 1 to 500 and uh, we want to increase it to 2000 all right so we are now going to do 1 to 500 multiplied by 2000 when you do that you are going to be having four so that is the scale factor okay that shows that when we do this we are going to be increasing the scale of 1 to 500 to 1 to 2000 by using the scale factor of 4 all right so that is the idea so if you are to interchange okay let's say when we get our scale of 1 to 2000 and you want to reduce the scale to 1 to 500 it is still the same um, idea it's still the same process all you have to do is 1 to 2000 okay multiply by 500 you are going to be having the scale factor to reduce such scale do we understand now so that is the idea so we are going to be increasing the scale of 1 to 500 to 2000 by doing 1 all over 500 multiplied by 2000 the answer is 4 so we are the scale factor is 4 so how to do that is just what we are going to show you now so you are going to highlight this whole frame okay all of them both the details inside of it then you go to the scale icon here by clicking on it all right then you choose any of the edge of the frame you click on it so it's going to request for the um scale factor just like what is below here you can see scale factor so you can come to your um command line here then you click or type four so that is the scale factor that we calculated from excel then you click on enter so the moment you do that you have successfully increased the scale okay if you are to reduce the scale to one to one to five hundred you are to highlight all right go to scale click on the edge of this um frame okay the input the scale factor of what you calculated from dividing one to two thousand okay multiply by 500 whatsoever you have you will come here on your command line to type that you are going to find out that it is going to reduce okay so in the course of this video we have successfully increased the scale of this frame so all we have to do is to highlight okay then you move so we are going to move this particular frame inside our job and this is just how to go about that so i light everything you can uncheck this which is your old snap then you move into your particular work so this is how to scale your plan don't forget the scale bar will be having some changes so because we have actually increased the scale we are going to edit the scale bar um details okay so here now we are going to be typing 2000 okay and here the denotion and the details are going to be changing so we are going to measure that by going to measure go to distance activate your old snap then we are going to measure from zero 
to 05 so you can see it is 20 so we have successfully increased the scale so we are going to edit the details here to 20 all right so that is how it works that's how it works by increasing the scale so definitely here is going to be 40 when we measure through okay so if you have watched this video to this extent please do not forget to hit on the subscribe icon as well as the notification bell to support and encourage us don't forget to drop your um, opinion on the comment section to know how more we can be of help so we are just going to edit the scaper just this way all right so therefore that is just how to edit the details so if you are going to measure through find out it is what it is so you can see it's 40 and so on and so forth so thank you for watching see you next time